Hello friends, in this video we are going to see about 50 benefits of breastfeeding that is 20 benefits for lactating mothers and 30 benefits for the babies. August 1st week is celebrated as breastfeeding week which is an initiative by WABA that is World Alliance for Breastfeeding Action. This year the theme is enabling breastfeeding, making a difference for working parents. So the focus is on working parents. What are all the advantages for the mothers? First, because of the action of the oxytocin, contraction of the uterus happens and because of that it reduces the postpartum bleeding and therefore it reduces the risk of anemia. It lowers the risk of postpartum pressure the major lactating hormones such as oxytocin which has a direct effect on the mood which helps mothers recover from the postpartum depression the major happy hormone secreted is oxytocin during the ejection reflex that is otherwise called as love hormone which enormously helps in relieving the stress of the delivered mothers breastfeeding increases the self esteem among the mothers breastfeeding protects the mothers from ovarian cancer in later stages of life similarly breast cancer protection is also there for mothers who had a good lactation in their lifetime after delivery to lose the weight which was gained during the pregnancy the best way is lactation then most of the pregnancy hormones and the stress during delivery makes many women feel that that they have lost their beauty. The hormones such as prolactin and oxytocin has a positive effect on regain their beauty. Lactating hormones has a direct effect on the insulin sensitivity thereby it provides a protection against diabetes. During the period of exclusive breastfeeding the mother will be in lactational amenorrhea hence it can be a good family planning method but this method cannot replace other methods. Breast milk is easy to carry and give a anywhere we want. Breast milk is cheaply available rather its worth cannot be calculated but economically we can call it is it is cost effective and breast milk is eco-friendly it does not need water and it won't waste any resource no packaging system etc breastfeeding decreases the blood pressure with the help of the oxytocin and prolactin secreted during the lactation the return of the uterus to the normal size will be augmented through breastfeeding the mothers will easily read the signals from the baby cues breastfeeding reduces cholesterol breastfeeding reduces the risk of osteoporosis later in their life even though pregnancy and lactating mothers demand more calcium supplementation lactation lowers the risk of heart disease lactation protects mothers from rheumatoid arthritis. Now we move on to the baby. We have 30 in the list. So breastfeeding is a safe food, simply available food, most hygienic, free from infections and most of the times it will be given fresh unless when people use breast pumps, store it, then give it to the babies. Breast milk is provided from the mother with the right temperature. Suppose if we are encountering with cow's milk or formula feeds, we need to lower the temperature and we may not know what is the ideal temperature. On the other hand, cooled milk in case of milk, expressed breast milk also faces the low temperature issues. The right temperature is provided with the breast milk. Then apart from the right temperature milk when the baby is enclosed within the body of the mother it gets a good warmth thereby the incidence of hypothermia will be reduced then from the baby's point of view breast milk will be the tastier option the initial milk secreted from the breast is called as cholesterol which is rich in proteins carbohydrates necessary for the brain growth and also nutrients and other anti-infective factors breast milk helps in easy passage of meconium ideally meconium should be passed within 24 hours and breast milk facilitates this emotional bonding with mother will be developed with breastfeeding breast milk naturally contains so many substances which provide good sleep so the incidence of hypoglycemia hypocalcemia hypomagnesemia and other electrolyte disturbances will be prevented with breast milk then the breastfed infants have a good immunity breast milk contains immunoglobulins and other factors which are directly related with the immunity breast milk fed infants in their later life has the reduced incidence of asthma and allergy and breastfed infants have the good vaccine response rate then the most important point is the brain development because breast milk contains carbohydrates and fats which are essential for the brain development in fact breastfed infants have eight iq points more than that of the their counterparts. Breastfed infants will have a better visual acuity. Breast milk will be easily digested. Breast milk contains perfect nutrition that is it contains most of the vitamins, minerals and other macronutrients. The sucking act by the infant helps in the good development of jaws and teeth. Usually the milk has four milk and hind milk that is the initial milk is watery and sugary in order to settle the thirst and hunger of the child. Then the hind milk contains more proteins and fats. Towards the end the milk will be with fat so that the child has to withstand hunger for a longer period. Then breast milk production will be specialized according to the situations especially in conditions like diarrhea in order to cope up with the water loss and the electrolyte loss the water and the electrolyte content will be more in the breast milk of the mothers same way if the baby is premature then the breast milk will be secreted appropriate for that baby then slowly as the baby grows the ingredients also changes breastfed infants has low risk of diseases such as diabetes and obesity in their later life breastfed infants have low risk of malnutrition during their childhood breastfed infants have less incidence of gastrointestinal and respiratory infections especially this is more when body bottled milk is used. Breastfed infants has reduced incidence of middle ear infections. The incidence of sudden infant death syndrome is also reduced among breastfed infants. The childhood cancers such as leukemia and lymphoma is also reduced among breastfed infants. There will be a smooth transition towards the solid when the child is breastfed. Then the last, if the infant is breastfed, there is a greater chance of survival and lesser hospital visits also. With this, I end up the 50 benefits of breastfeeding. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you find it, it will be useful to your friends. Please share it to your friends. Thanks for watching this video.